Welcome, welcome, Thomas and Hiram. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the love reading for the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I see you're going to be dealing with your soulmate relationship, fire sign people. This is the month of March, and it's your love reading for the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There we go. Um, we see that your soulmate is coming in. A lot of you expect some sort of an unexpected gift. Um, for you, Aries, it's your birthday month. A lot of you could be meeting and connecting with your soulmate. So Aries, Leo, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Ophiosis. This is the month of love. You have the energy of the soulmate and the gift. This is beautiful, beautiful energies that is coming up for you guys. All right, let's go in your reading and see what is coming out. So we see the magician. And when the magician comes up with the twin flame, that means a twin flame. Some of you are going to be meeting your twin flame in this time slide. Okay, and this is going to be good. Um, then I see communication is coming up. A whole lot of communication is going to be coming in. Um, where a lot of you are going to be communicating clearly. I see love is going to be offered, the Two of Cups, where love is going to be offered. A lot of you are going to be meeting your twin flame soulmate. I see that a lot of you are in love with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's not going to be lasting for long. This person is an earth sign. You are supposed to connect with air sign people. I see the Six of Swords, some sort of an ending is coming up. Um, some of you who are in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, some sort of an ending could be coming up for this person. You and this person are ending some sort of a relationship. I see lies and deceptiveness. People are recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of a young Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man. It is showing up some sort of a deceptive play, what this uh, man have done, Okay. I see the seven of cups. A lot of you fire sign person is going to be recognizing that your partner has been in a um, different relationship. Um, at the same time with you, your partner has been sharing their love to someone else. It is going to be coming out. Okay. It is going to be coming out that your partner have been sharing you with others. I see a whole lot of new love is coming in. A whole lot of you are going to be meeting your twin flame. This is going to be good. So, what a month. It's a month of love for you guys. I see the energy of the devil is in reverse. Information is coming out. A lot of people who were cheating, it is all going to be coming out. The energy of the devil is in reverse. All right. Woo. What a month, ladies and gentlemen. What a month. All right, so the uh, the information that is here is that the magician is showing up uh, some sort of a deceptive play that was going on. The magician is really showing up an ending, some sort of a deceptive play in relationship that was going on. People are now recognizing and seeing the truth uh, um, of their marriage and their relationship, what was transpiring, what was happening, how people were playing them. And a lot of this is going to be coming to an end. The energy of the devil is now in reverse. And I see a lot of you are going to be recognized that you were played. You were played in your relationship. Information is coming in. A lot of you um, are in love with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. I see you are going to be letting this person know um, that you have some sort of a feelings for them. A lot of you fire sign person is going to be letting um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person know that you have always been in love with them. I don't think they're in love with you. I think these P, this, you know, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn men, a lot of you fire sign people are in love with this person. But um, you're going to be telling this person, but this person is going to be like, you know, sorry, but I don't have the same feelings, okay? 
a lot of you who are in relationships with this person a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you're going to be recognizing that there have been seen multiple people they have been around the block and uh, you could be ending it or they could be ending it because they're moving on to some new love um, that is coming in for them all right I see a lot of you are going to be meeting someone new this is good a lot of you are open for new love and a lot of you new love is coming in and it's going to be coming in in the form of twin flame soul flame relationship and this is going to be good so a lot of you could be ending the month um, meeting your twin flame or soulmate then I see a lot of you are going to be recognizing that your partner have been having multiple relationship so if you're in a relationship with a cancer you're going to be recognizing that your cancer um, person has been having multiple relationship this person has been around the block um, with a lot of people a lot of you are going to be recognizing that your cancer husband or wife has been around the block with a lot of people um I see that a lot of you are uh, open um, and is in love with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, and uh, you're doing everything to get this person attention they are not interested let it go let it go because they are not interested um, this person is someone whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is is not interested it is someone who knows what they're looking for so you know let it go don't chase this person this person is not interested a whole lot of new love is coming in and the new love that is coming in is as if out of the blues a lot of you out of the blues you are recognizing that you know love is here love is here for you love is here to stay and a lot of you whatever is transpiring a lot of you are going to be meeting um, people that is going to be creating a lot of uh, healthy relationship healthy base of relationship in your world and this is going to be good so it is a really really positive situation that is transpiring um, then I see the energy Ooh, uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. the energy of a lot of you um, whoever this cancer is in your life this cancer has been cheating on you with multiple multiple partners you could have married to this person. This person have been seeing multiple different people. Um, you weren't aware. It is all going to be coming out. All going to be coming out. Um, this cancer has been cheating a lot. Okay, lies and deceptiveness. Um, this person have been seeing other people in the time that they are in uh, the marriage the relationship with you, and people are going to be recognizing that this person is a player all right this cancer whether this cancer is is a player so um your center energy is that you are going to be finding out um that uh, there's some things that you need to let behind there are some people that uh, especially whoever is in love with an taurus virgo or capricorn they are not in love with you um, you need to stop chasing after this person. This person is really not in love with you. You have to understand, fire sign people, you are fire, okay? You go with the element of air. Heart sign people go with the element of water. And this is why you create a chaos and karmatic relationship is because a lot of people is not aware of where to go and look for love. And whoever is chasing after this Aries, they are Sagittarian, and this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, uh, man or woman, they are just not interested. They are like, leave me alone. Um, they are in love with a cancer. And it's better for you to just let it go because they are in love with a cancer. Um, they um, know um, that the cancer is who they have been looking for. A lot of you um, who are in um relationship with this person um you are going to um they are going to be ending the relationship okay so if you're in love with a um taurus virgo or capricorn person they're going to be ending the relationship um they recognize that you fire sign people have not been speaking the truth 
They recognize that you five and people have been creating a lot of chaos in their world and they are going to be ending the relationship with you fire sign people. So whoever is in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, don't, be not surprised. This person is going to be ending the relationship. A lot of you are going to be finding out that you were cheated on. Information is going to be coming out and you're going to be finding out that you were cheated on big time. Okay. Somehow this is all going to be coming out that you were cheated on uh, big time. So I see that the spirit is going to be um, where the magician is coming out and is bringing new love in your world. That is going to be good. A whole lot of you are going to be recognizing that if you're in a relationship with a scorpion, the scorpion have been seen multiple people. Um, it is going to be um, sad for you if you're in a relationship with a cancer. You're going to be recognizing that a cancer has been also seen multiple people. Whoever wanted to move on with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, they're going to be saying, no, I do not want to be in a, the relationship. It's a sad situation, but it is what it is. The energy of the magician is coming up and is showing that a lot of you fire sign person is as if you're looking out of yourself, looking for love. And, you know, you have the ends of cards. Take a chance. Risk it. Open up yourself to love because love is here for you in this timeline. So a lot of you is as if you think that you're not good enough and, you know, you're running after the wrong people. Let it go. OK, mirror the mirror. Each a lot of you are mirroring each other, especially if you're in a relationship. You're going to be recognizing that you're the opposite polario of each other that means you're twin flame okay so whenever the mirror comes up a lot of you are going to be recognizing um you know the person is the opposite that you know if you're the female they're the male of you the same um characteristic and that sort of a thing you're going to be recognizing this in uh, this month and then we have the amor sabotage rebuilding i see a taurus virgo or capricorn man is going to be sabotaging some sort of a relationship um, wait, you fire sign people because they have moved on. They are in love with someone else and they're going to be sabotaging the relationship. So expect that. Okay. This person have moved on. They're going to be letting you know, let it go. I have moved on. And then, um, the sun glasses, watching, looking, stalking. A lot of you fire sign person is stalking a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. They want you to let it go. They no longer want to deal with you. They are recognizing what was happening, the unfair games that was played, and they're letting it go. They don't want to be with you, okay? Um, cassettes. A whole lot of you conversation was recorded. Whoever has recorded this conversation recognized that a whole lot of you fire sign people have been lying. Um, so it could be your partner that have recorded you in conversation with um, someone you are seeing. So a whole lot of you fire sign people, your conversation was recorded and they found out that you were lying. Okay. So um, be aware of that. Wedding bells. Yeah. So a lot of you are going to be meeting your twin flame. Um, there is the union of twin flame, marriage, soul connection, eternal love that is going to be coming in for a lot of you. So if you fire sign people are hoping to love um, your twin flame relationship and relationships are going to be coming in your life that you're going to be thinking, oh my God, I've never felt this way in a relationship. So happiness and joy, some of you um, who are having birthday, the Aries could be receiving the ends of marriage at your birthday and this is going to be good so that is wonderful uh, photograph so a lot of you Aries have been running um, behind a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person a lot of you are having movements moments in your mind about this person you could have shared a one night stand or one moment with this person and you have been um, this person has been you know, like stalking you in your mind and this and they are going to be telling you in this month you know, it was a one night thing. I no longer want to be with you. Let it go. I have moved on. Okay. So it is uh, harsh, but it is what it is. So I see a lot of you. Um, yeah. Someone is going to be calling, expressing love to a lot of you. A message of love is going to be coming in. 
they're going to be letting you know hey I've been thinking about you for a very long time whoever this person is could be a soulmate or a twin flame to some of you and this is going to be good it's not showing up who they are um, as we go further and we look deeper in this reading we will recognize who are these people that is going to be coming in as new love partner a lot of you are going to be receiving calls that people are letting you know how much they feel about you and how much they care about you and this is going to be good wow what a month I sign people this is really about love this is this is you know these love readings and this is why I say to people ask for your own personalized love reading to know whether or not you have a soulmate or a twin flame some people just go through life having these karmatic relationships and but and you know time and things are changing and this is how you see how things are changing up because people are now going and looking for the people who affect them the most okay and really recognize you know that I no longer need to be in these horrible karmatic relationship. It's as if you fire sign people are now going to be looking for love, true love, soulmate love, and a whole lot of soulmate energies and love is open up in this four weeks period. This is from um the two last week in um March until the two first week in April, or whenever you pick it up, because these are um um timeless reading. These are all uh, timeless reading. What I do is timeless because um, other people frequency is lower or uh, slower. Okay. So whenever you pick up these love readings, it's uh, something if you are depressed, if you're looking for love, if you're trying to understand why you are in unhealthy relationships, it's good to go back and look at uh, love readings for many, many years behind in order to get advice uh, and see what is affecting you in your life and how to change that in this timeline okay so um i love this for you guys because um you guys are dealing with the twin flame energies and the twin flame energies are really powerful this is where you're recognizing hey i got a twin flame i got someone who mirror who i am whether you're a man or a woman all right all right, so let's go in. The energy of the magician have the um the ends of the card taking risk. So a lot of you door setting, a lot of you who were dating a um a Cancer or as um a Capricorn, I see you're going to be um taking the next step. Okay, so I see a lot of you. Some of you could be start dating an Aries. Some of you were dating an Aries. Some of you were dating a Cancer. Some of you. We're dating a Capricorn. Um, you're going to be taking the next step because you recognize, hey, this person was sent to me from the universe. This person treats me good. I am connected to this person. This is what I feel. I feel this person as they come in my life. Yes, I'm going to be taking the next step. The mirror is uh, um have to do with you, Aries, and the Taurus. Okay, Aries and Taurus, you gotta let it go. Um, Aries and Taurus, you're seeing, especially Aries that was born on the cups of Taurus, you're going to be recognizing that you and the Taurus share something. Only cup people, only Aries that born on the cups of Taurus can have relationship with Taurus, okay? Because you're mirroring yourself, you're seeing, because you're both cup people, you both have a, um, um Aries in you and you both of a Taurus so this is a good soulmate okay this is a good soulmate relationship so if you're Aries that born on the cups of Taurus go for it with the Taurus it will work out then we see um the Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person is ending a relationship because they're moving on um with uh, um uh, Pisces they're moving on with a Pisces so a lot of you Aries that is in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, they're ending the relationship and moving on with a Pisces, okay? You and uh, um, this person, this person is going to be telling you Aries, I no longer want to be in the relationship with you Aries. They're going to be moving, divorcing and moving on with a Pisces. 
Okay, so we're seeing the sunglasses. A lot of you there saying a lot of you are waiting, waiting, waiting um, to be with a Capricorn, but it's not going to be happening. This Capricorn, um, do, uh, you know, this Capricorn don't want to be in a relationship. This Capricorn is ending the relationship. A lot of you Aries could have been in love with a Capricorn, but this Capricorn is deciding, no, I don't want to be with you. They are going to be ending the relationship, okay? And it is just a, a, a relationship. It's as if you have been constantly, constantly, constantly seeing this person maybe, um, you know, off, um, now and again, you're seeing this person and this person is going to be saying to you, this Capricorn is going to be saying to you, no, I no longer want to be in a relationship. I no longer want to be with you. Then I see um, a lot of you are going to be finding out um, the lies and deceptiveness of a Sagittarian, a Libran, and a Pisces. So they're going to be finding out, uh, you Sagittarian could be finding out, or you fire sign people are going to be finding out um, that there was some sort of a threesome relationship that was going on with a Sagittarian, a Libran, and a Pisces. Sagittarian, Libra, and a Pisces. A lot of you are going to be re um, recording these people having some sort of a conversation and the lies and deceptiveness of these people. Some of you are married to um, the, these people. Some of you, um, these people you could be married to and you're going to be getting some sort of record or a conversation because you have the cassette band thinking, overall thinking, um, where conversation is going to be coming out and you're going to be recognizing that they have been lying to you so if you're married especially you um sagittarian that is married to a libran or a pisces you're going to be recognizing that this uh, libran have been seen a pisces okay then we have pisces and taurus confrontation a whole lot of confrontation is going to be coming up a whole lot of married people are going to be having some sort of a confrontation where a Pisces and a Taurus could be in their world. Definitely a Pisces and a Taurus could be there in their world. And it is a huge confrontation that is going on. Um, so whoever is married to a Pisces um, or a Taurus, I see a whole lot of confrontation. A Taurus or a Pisces could be entering your marriage or has been a part of your marriage for quite some time. It is coming out. Whatever is going on with you, fire sign people and the Pisces. So we see Pisces and Cancer. And a whole lot of you could have seen or have a vision of you and a Pisces and a Cancer. A lot of you are thinking that a Pisces or a Cancer is your twin flame. No, they're not. They're not. Okay. So a whole lot of you are having the insane in your head that yeah the spices or this cancer is my soulmate no they're not no they're not soulmate for you air sign people come up with same fire sign and air sign okay so remember you are the element of fire your soulmate is found in um between each other or if you're looking for your soulmate you have to look at the aquarian um aquarian Gemini or Libra. Um, water sign people are not your soulmate. And a lot of fire sign always have this in their heads that water sign people, Pisces and Cancer, are your soulmate. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. Opposite attracts. Okay. Then we are looking at the um, um, new love coming in, a Pisces and a Cancer. A lot of you um, are in love with a Pisces and a Cancer. I see telephone conversation. Um, you're all conversating um, with a, uh, I see a whole lot of you telephone conversation with a, um, a scorpion and a cancer. And I see that you uh, feel as if this person is really my twin flame. No, they're not your twin flame. Um, a lot of fire sign people always project what they want. And, um, what fire sign people does, and that's why we have different elements. We have four, five elements. We have more elements. But um, with fire sign people, what is happening and what is transpiring, you fire sign people are recognizing 
um, and always project what you want. And you always seem to be falling in love with water sign people. They're not your twin flame. Your twin flame lies by the air sign people, okay? You got to recognize why you have so much karmatic relationship is that a lot of fire sign people are always pushing towards water sign people, the Pisces, um, the Cancers, the Scorpion, but they're not your soulmate. Um, fire sign, you can project just as the element of fire. You can project and you can want to connect, but it's, it's not how it is. This is why um, a lot of people do not understand um, why their marriage, their relationship doesn't work. And it's because you project yourself on someone or something that is not uh, what the case is, okay? So, you know, I have to do a video where people recognize where to go and find their soulmate and twin flame. I think I've done one a couple of years ago. Then you will recognize where your soul flame um, and your twin flame is so you can understand um, what exactly where you have been fault in um, certain element of your life where you're looking for love in the wrong places and by the wrong people. A lot of fire sign people always think that their twin flame and soul flame lies by the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, but that is not it. And I see that um, this is the timeline when you're going to be recognized that th these people who you think and project to be your twin flame is not your twin flame. Your twin flame lies by the Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra. I do love you guys. Please show your love by thumbs up, thumbs up, share, share, share. Um, go back and listen to um, the love reading of January because some, some of your frequency are um, slower. Um, this can happen to you two, three months down the road. Um, but go back and listen to months before because that could be happening in your timeline at this moment. I do love you guys. Show your love by thumbs up. This is beautiful energy. Namaste until next time. Oh,